We got to Hong Kong, smashed it there, and then we were supposed to fly on to uh, Taipei. Damon will say somewhere else, but it wasn't. It was Taipei, Damon. We were actually on our way to um, Tokyo, uh, but the uh, gig was cancelled. The promoter got shot or something, I don't know. It was all a bit like, it's not happening anymore. OK. <laughs> Five days in Hong Kong, the opportunity arose to make some music. It was just like, we're in Hong Kong, there's nothing else to do, let's just go to the studio. for a few days and jamming in studios can be a fairly unpleasant claustrophobic sweaty smelly experience compared to like a hotel swimming pool <laughs> so. we could have spent the week off on the top of an open top bus taking in the sights but you know when musicians are bored they tend to whip their instruments out that's kind of uh, how things go really we could have easily just had a holiday you know, but I suppose it partly sort of work ethic and partly a sort of curiosity on my behalf of is there anything here that's more than just a sort of us playing this, you know, this blur thing out until we can play it no longer. It was just like it was at the very first rehearsal. It was just really good fun kicking the can around. There was nothing sort of too precious. We'd try something. If it wasn't working, just try something else. And uh, there, so there's lo there was loads of starting points, as, which is what you need. And then other stuff just spontaneously came into being. mentality of well let's try and do something different it certainly seemed like quite an exciting thing to do making music in Hong Kong and in a, in a way it was there was no pressure so it had that sense of we were a gang again doing something slightly sort of naughty recording no one knew we were doing it script building it was called the Acme building it had no windows it's really small I mean really really cramped I think if we'd been booked into a, a massive posh studio with Pharrell Williams to make like a comeback record it would everybody would have run a mile but just because we were all getting on really well enjoying playing together it was just like well let's let's just go to the studio and just make some music just for the hell of it because that's what we like doing and that's what we're good at I didn't want this album to escape. I thought that would be that would be sad because it did feel so good recording those sessions. Oh, we've got something here. 